Okay, for this next lesson, we're going to kind of piggyback what we did last time, and this time we're, but this time we're going to take a decimal by a decimal. It's really not that much different. There's just one extra step. So let's look at this problem. Nine and three tenths times four and one tenth. When we do this, remember we're looking at this as if it's 93 times 41. And we're gonna use our MoMA method. We're gonna multiply first the ones column. Start with the bottom ones, which is actually a one. So one times three is three, and one times nine is nine. We're done with that column, so you can cross it off. And we're going on to our tens column here. The four times three, for, oh, sorry, almost forgot the most important step. We dropped that zero. Remember the O in MoMA. Drop that zero. So now four times three is 12. So we put down the two and we carry the one. Now we take four times nine is 36 and we add that one to get 37. So our two partial products are 93 and 3,720. We need to add those. So three plus zero is three. Nine plus two is 11. We put down that one, carry the one in seven plus nothing is seven plus one is eight and three plus nothing is three so we get the answer of three thousand eight hundred thirteen last step we go back to the original problem nine point three and, and four point one and we look how many digits are behind the decimal look at the top number there is one digit behind the decimal in that answer or in that number and on the bottom number there is also one digit behind the decimal so now if there's one digit on the top number behind the decimal, one digit on the bottom number behind the decimal, that is a total of two digits behind the decimal. So we need to go to our answer, start behind the three, and move it two to the left. There we go. That is our answer, 38 and 13 hundredths. The next example we have here is three and two hundredths times six tenths. Again, we're treating this like 302 times six. So let's do the, the, the problem here. Six times two is 12. Put down that two, carry the one. Zero times six, well that's zero, plus one is one. Three times six is 18. So we have our temporary answer here of 1,812. Now we know that doesn't make sense. You're not gonna take three times a number less than one and get 1,812. So what we have to do now is count the digits behind the decimal. When we look at the top number, there are two digits behind the decimal. And the bottom one, there's only one. One plus two is three. So we start to the right of the two. We need to move it three spots. So one, two, three, there it goes. So now it goes between the one and the eight. So our actual answer is one and 812 thousandths. And that's, that's the only step that's different. Make sure you add the amount of decimals, the amount of digits behind the decimal to find out where your decimal should go in your product.